The grand finale is a series of 22 orbits where Cassini dives in between the innermost ring and the top of Saturn's atmosphere, almost an inside passage very close to the planet. The science we're going to get in the grand finale is like no other science we've gotten in the mission. We've never gotten this close to Saturn before. In fact, no spacecraft has gotten this close to Saturn. And that allows us to make measurements that you just can't make when you're orbiting outside the rings. We have some incredible science that will come back during Cassini's grand finale orbits. It includes gravity measurements of the planet itself, revealing the interior of Saturn and the depths of Saturn's winds. Then we have the magnetic field measurements. Perhaps that will give us the length of Saturn's day and help us understand how the field is generated inside the planet. We'll get the mass of the rings for the first time, as well as a direct measurement of their composition incredible pictures of the rings and uh, looking at the North Polar Hexagon, direct measurements of the particles and the radiation belt in this region, a whole host of unique science in the grand finale. The grand finale not only provides really incredible science, but it also helps us satisfy a planetary protection requirement. We're protecting the tiny moon Enceladus as well as Titan. Both of those have global oceans underneath their icy crusts. And just in case there might be life in those oceans, we don't want Cassini to crash into one of those moons once we're out of fuel. I think Cassini has left us with humankind's presence at another planet for 13 years, seeing things that we had never imagined seeing, and at the same time, sharing that with the entire world and opening up vistas for the next sets of missions. The um, outreach we've done, the engagement of the public, it's just fascinating and so much fun to watch you know, to be able to share this with other folks. You know, they, they, the enthusiasm for this mission, I think, is something that uh, other missions will also be able to benefit from. We've got web pages everywhere. We've got their, our raw image site, which we publish every image that we get the minute we get it on our site. They're on the social media before we see them. I'll come in in the morning, and the Twitterverse is already alive <laughs> with our images, which is just so cool. I love it. The number of PhDs we've put through the system that are going to be the educators of the next generations. Uh, we've put out 3,000 plus peer-reviewed papers, hundreds of PhDs, thousands of, PhD, of uh, peer-reviewed papers. The legacy, the scientific legacy is huge. The engineering legacy, uh, you know, of using every ounce of engineering capability to uh, exploit a system, I think is again, we, 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 we will be built upon. And I, and I can't ignore the international cooperation. I mean, this we had 19 nations contributing hardware to this mission. We've got over 26 nations now contributing scientifically. Uh, and despite whatever else is going on, this really has been an amazing collaboration with uh, across the world.